I love religious media because it's always coming up with something that I haven't thought of would be a thing before. Like over the summer, uh, I know this guy who uh, just came out in a purple and yellow cape and he was just like, you citizen, what is your name? Nice to meet you, John. Good, good job. <gasps> Away! And then he'd go around. And like, he was just doing that at a show. And then he was like, I was like, dude, what the fuck are you? He's like, I'm Bible man. I was like, the fuck is Bible man? Is that actual? That's, is that a thing? He's like, wait, hold up. Yeah, you never heard of Bible man? I was like, no, I, the fuck I didn't. <laughs> it's true. I, I don't know who Bible man is. Apparently he was a, he was a, a big deal, I guess like Christian media, I didn't watch Christian media growing up, you know, like the Veggie Tales and shit, I didn't watch it, I don't know why, I I guess I just never needed to, I mean, I, I grew up Catholic, I don't think that was anything to do with it, but our Sunday school was way more about, like, learning what it means to be a Catholic and a Christian, rather than just being like, here's a Bible with pictures, and like, there's Jesus and it's it's the storm but he's walking on water and he's telling them not to be afraid and to trust him oh Peter fell in he didn't trust him see this is why you should trust Jesus it's like no I didn't (laughs) I didn't have anything to do with that but uh as crazy as like Protestant shit is uh it will never top like Mormon and like Jehovah Witness stuff case in point I found this neat little thing on Twitter where it's some one of those, I can't remember which one, but it's, it's a Christian cartoon against Mr. Beast. And it's just so fucking weird. Let's just get into it. Mr. Beast, what does he teach? Blasphemy and greed. <laughs> Mr. Beast, what does he teach? Blasphemy and greed. It's like... T- I don't know about the blasphemy part, but he definitely does teach greed because he's just like, who's willing to put their life on a line for $10,000? That is kind of greedy, considering it's with his friends who are, you know, do have money. Arguably more more uh, virtuous than uh, getting poor people who would need the $10,000 to do it because then he's making ad revenue off this. So honestly, with his video ideas, it's better to keep it within his friend circle. It'd be a little fucked up to be like, all right, we got Jimmy the cancer patient and we got Tammy the, the mother who just lost her house in the fire. Who needs the $10,000 more? Well, we made them walk the plank. Right? That's a little fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe it's greed, but honestly, it's a lot less worse than uh, what it could be. A YouTube star, millions of views, but tell me, what would Jesus do? You see, he's not a Christian channel. <laughs> very good picture of Mr. Beast, though. I ain't gonna lie. That is, that is a very good depiction. That is a that is a nice depiction of Mr. Beast, especially when you contrast it with uh, this. <laughs> this is a little horrifying. Like I, it's a bad angle or something. But everything on her is just so sharp. It looks scary. <laughs> but what would Jesus do? Probably not have a YouTube channel about shit like that. I'll be honest. But uh, Jesus also said, "Give away all your shit and don't be tied to moral possession or mortal possessions." And uh. Yeah, there's a lot, there's uh, some things with that, that uh, a lot of Christians don't want to do, but hey, we're via from you. Jesus do, you see he's not a Christian channel. Does he like the number of man? I'll bet somewhere he has a six, six, six tattoo. <laughs> what is the point of bold fucking claim? Somewhere, somewhere on his body, in his skin, he's got... 666 on him sure maybe i honestly i doubt it i really do fucking doubt it i'll I'll be honest though even though i am christian i do want a 666 tattoo like on my ass 
uh all because i watched slc punk and i just love the scene where they're just in the gas station and they're like oh no i'm being possessed and he just pulls down his pants they just like ah and then they just run off before getting shot i love that movie and i want it for just for that movie that's it that movie is one of my favorite movies in the world and uh, i would just love to have it commemorated by putting a tattoo on my ass so please heed my warning you're young your brain's still forming and father knows best forget why are you so different looking father you don't look nothing like that kid <laughs> mom's got some explaining to do mr beast see he, that kid don't look nothing like that dad i'm sorry i'm, I'm, I'm sorry dad you got fucked up The fact that Beast is in his name is an affront to God for shame. <laughs> why? Why is that? An, why is that an affront to God? I'm pretty sure you could call Samson, you know, a guy who was built to shit and had all the power in his hair. You could probably call him Beast Mode, right? Because he's he was like the strongest guy in the Bible who was like, you know, who was mortal, right? Awesome rhyme scheme? It is. It's an affront to God for shame. But, like, why is Beast so bad? Why is that bad? It just means animal. It, it literally just means animal. What the fuck? I'll not have any child of mine worshipping the beast. No, here I draw the line. Dad, why do you have your hammer right there? That's not where they go. Also, imagine you catch your kid watching a video, so you just rip the cord out of the ball. That's super bad. That's that's bad for that's bad for the computer. You're, that's coming out of your pocket, man. You could just be like, "Hey, son, I want you watching those videos." It's a it's, it's a message that I personally don't agree with. You may be too young now, but when you're older, maybe you'll understand. If not, just just uh, trust me on this. No, you're just like Mr. Peace video. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that please don't do that you must heed my warning you're young your brain's still forming and father knows best forget mr beast bro i'm not gonna be over this dad not looking like this kid like the fuck man poor man got cucked look at him look at him that kid don't look like neither of his parents i'll be honest please stop asking to have mr beast burger for dinner Mr. Beast? What the fuck is a Mr. Beast Burger? Hold up. Mr. Beast Burger. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast Burger, what the fuck is that? There is a, there is a Mr. Beast Burger. The fuck? Go, let's see. What is this shit about? I ain't never heard this. This is like what normal YouTube's about. I ain't never heard this. You will not use my location. Go away. Five dollars? Shit, maybe. Oh, that looks kind of good. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. I, I I'd eat it. Damn. Alright. Uh, I don't want to dox myself. They got one near me. Uh, they got one near me. I might have to try that maybe that may be an idea. Mr. Beast, uh uh let's see. <laughs> I could Uber one from New York. I don't wanna do that. Why is that an option? Why every time I look up stuff near me is like you got the option to Uber it from the original location. Uh there's one an hour and a half away from me. Oh wait, hold on. It's a, it's a, oh no, it's bro. That's Hardy's. Fuck off. That's a beast combo. Okay, there's not one near me. Okay, so there isn't a beast burger anywhere in this state. At least I don't think. Uh, Mister Beast Burger in the no in the, no oh hmm.
There is not one in this state. So sad. So sad. I don't have to go without my Mr. Beast burger. That's so weird. I didn't know that was a thing. But it looks pretty good. Like, I wouldn't mind trying it, you know? I make great, healthy vegan burgers. Yum, yum. All right, the vegan thing kind of threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that. Sure, go off. Oh, stop saying you wish your dad was Chris the mean god. Your real father, David, is a plumber. And someone <laughs> to be looked up to. Because yum, yum, for sure. Bro, so is Mr. Beast, honestly. Like, <laughs> he's making a difference. People watch him. They think, like, I'm going to do that. Like, I'm not going to lie. He, he is making a difference. Then he have, like, a YouTuber paintball thing that he threw or something. That's making a difference. It's, uh, whether to say it's significant or meaningful, who's to say? But it's a difference. But, yeah, let's look up to David. He's a plumber. He's doing, he's doing, he's doing work that I would not want to do. I don't want to deal with someone else's clock toilet, so shout out to you, David. Doing God's work out here. Son, you need to heed my warning. You're young, your brain's still forming. And father knows best. Forget Mr. Beast. <laughs> this kid's just looking at him like... That kid didn't know a single goddamn thing they said. And it went all... It went through it, it just like or in one ear out the other that's the phrase i was like it went through his eyes i couldn't remember the fucking phrase god i i wish my daddy was chris the meme god me too me fucking too bro <laughs> me 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 too kyle me too <laughs> follow me if mr beast is disgrace to the christian faith oh i can't put that on there mr beast Mr. Beast. Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> very Christian. This is very Christian. We love it. We love it. Mr. Beast is satanic. He is the beast. 